made public in the United States on prohibiting all immigrants entry into the United States and suspending for three months the entry into the United States by people of seven Islamic countries including Iran, Iraq, Libya, Somalia, the Sudan and Syria. As soon as the executive order of the U.S. president was made public, the international community lodged a strong protest against it. Strong protest was made by those countries whose people's entry into the United States was banned. The Yemeni Ministry of Foreign Affairs said the recent decision would bring a negative result of spreading country's division and extremism. The Iranian Ministry of Foreign Affairs issued a statement denouncing the step of the United States as an illegal and illogical decision which violated international law and stressing that Iran too will keep prohibiting the entry of Americans in retaliation for the insulting executive order of the United States. The Iraqi National Assemblyman also demanded the government take countermeasures of disallowing Americans' entry into Iraq in case the United States does not cancel its step of ban on travel. A number of international organizations are strongly criticizing the United States. The UN Secretary General, in his statement, expressed the strong apprehensions that the executive order of Trump may destroy the international refugees protection system. The chairman of the UN Human Rights Council abused that the discrimination against individual countries goes against the UN human rights law, and the executive order of the US president is an illegal and despicable act. International cooperation organizations condemn the United States for detaining people in the warring region and directly threatening their lives. The Islamic Cooperation Organization, the Office of the United Nations for Refugees, the International Organization for Migration, and others strongly denounce the step of the United States as a violation of the International Convention. Strong criticism against the United States was voiced in the Western countries, allies of the United States. The European Union accused the United States of shifting the responsibility for the solution of the refugee issue only onto it. The chairman of the European Union summit in its letter to its member nations said the US step is a threat shaking the foundation of the European Union. Germany, Canada, Britain, and many other countries are intensifying criticism against the United States, and some European countries express their stand to welcome refugees and keep accepting them, ridiculing the United States. As a matter of fact, the United States is the main criminal 